Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better than the last one. Still in that friggin' museum. Anything around here? Anything? No, you know what? I've got a bunch of experience. Let's take a look at what, what I got first. Oh, I got ten. Holy shit. That's a lot of experience. Hmm. Questions, where do we want to put the points? I'm not exactly sure. Wow, this is actually a really good question. Where do I want to put it? Put one in research. Put one in research. And then we'll put one in dexterity to help get that lock picking up even further. I still got three? Goddamn. About that, that's gonna cost me six, so we're not gonna do that. We'll just put one in computer as well. I this is one of those moments where I'm I got the I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm doing what sounds pretty cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh Jesus I Christ! Understand why someone would go through the trouble of stealing a box with a very ancient corpse? This city is not that dull. What happened to the sarcophagus? Since it's missing, I'm inclined to believe it was stolen. Or intentionally misplaced, if you like. Clearly, though, it's not here. Damn it, Beckett. Did you steal it? If I stole it, I would know where it was. And most likely wouldn't be looking for it here. Interesting. So what are you doing here? I'm an archaeologist. So I thought I'd indulge in a quick study of this uncurrent sarcophagus everyone's so riled up about. My guess, from what I've read about it, is that it's a mummified Mesopotamian king. I needed confirmation. I see. Did you get to examine it? Oh, I really wish I had. All this speculation about the sarcophagus containing an antediluvian and being a portent of Gehenna is making me cringe. These are the kinds of ridiculous, superstitious assumptions I came here to debunk. Okay. What about the antediluvians? No one I know has ever met one. But each of the clans and their bloodlines supposedly trace their origin to an original vampire. An antediluvian. Some swear these grandsires still exist into the present. But then, kindred and kind believe a lot of strange things. And the Gehenna? Armageddon, Doomsday, the end of all kindred. It's a common facet of most mythologies. Fear that the world will end. Many believe Cain and the Antediluvians will return to consume or destroy all kindred. I wholeheartedly disagree. Alright, who's Cain? Cain is the biblical first kindred and founder of the mythological first city, Enoch. A place where kindred and kind coexisted. I believe Cain's a figure concocted to personify the transition from nomadic society to agrarian society. That myth, like most, has been twisted by time. Um, hmm. Are there any other signs of Gehenna? What prophecy doesn't have vague apocryphal signs? Let's see. The usual ones cited are the appearance of thin bloods, cane sightings, doom, gloom, that route. And why don't you believe in it? As I said, many cultures have the fear of some form of apocalypse. Kindred believed in these stories when they were human, and naturally carried them over into kindred myth. But it doesn't take a supernatural act to cause widespread destruction. Very Humans true. Humans and kindred are just as capable of managing their own destruction as a deity. A self-realized Gehenna warrants more vigilance than a god-induced one, don't you agree? Such is my argument, which so frequently falls on deaf ears. Sounds good. Tell me about them Thinbloods. Thinbloods rarely exhibit features or powers of their clan, and many can't embrace. Some are even rumored to have reproduced. Many kindred are terrified that their weak blood heralds the dissipation of every bloodline. Somewhat of an ignorant reactionary response, don't you think? This is some fascinating stuff, man. How long have you been studying? 
For 300 years I've been trying to determine the function of our existence, the kindred's role in the world. I'm not content to attribute it to some act of supernatural biblical vengeance. We exist for a reason. And if it takes another 300, I'll figure it out. Any thoughts? Uh, hmm. We're a predatory species, like lions. Yes, I've heard that theory before. It certainly seems plausible, but there's little proof to support it. Still, it's a better explanation than a divine sentence for manslaughter. I agree. Remember, the truth won't be told in time. It will be told by us. Well, my work here is stolen away into the night. I think I'll do the same. If you find so, uh, hmm, yeah, goodbye. Whoa, why, why am I doing a low shot like that? Are you gonna kick me out? Now I get to go and face the prince again and have him be. <laughs> this should be fun. Keeps talking to me like that, I'm gonna pop him in the face, but then I gotta fight his, his friggin' bodyguard. That won't be fun. Mm. Oh, excuse me, uh, starting to doze off there. Well, I need to get a guard animal of some sort to alert me when folks come in. Hmm, maybe one of them chimps like on that show 8 Detective? <laughs> oh, that, that monkey always gets his man. Really, buddy? Alright, whatever. Let's open the damn elevator. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, Mr. LaCroix is expecting you. For a young guy, he, he sure likes to work late. Me, I spent most of my youth in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I guarded the sets for over six top ten TV shows. Even though I don't care, you keep saying things. Honestly, it's getting a little old, buddy. Oh, LaCroix! Oh, somebody a little nervous now, huh? The folly of leadership is knowing that no matter what you do, behind your back there's hundreds, certain that their own solution is the sound of one, and that your decision was the byproduct of a whimsical dart toss. I pronounce the blast sentence, and I soak the critical fallout. I make the decisions no one else will. Leadership. I wear the albatross and a bullseye. All right, I play along. What's this about? The blood hunt on Nines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Grout will be called. Rodriguez's execution is only a matter of time. I have lit the fuse. If a war ignites, it's my head that will sharpen the pikes for. Now to the matter of the sarcophagus. Do you need assistance bringing it up? It was stolen. Stolen? Stole. Stolen? How? Who would... Oh, Gary. Gary, you treasonous maggot. I should have anticipated your treachery, sewer rat. Damn. So won't mind telling me who he is? The Nosferatu Primogen. The Nosferatu were responsible for finding out where the sarcophagus was taken after the day, and for getting keys to the museum. They were the only ones who knew. It's obvious to me now. My mistake. The Nos... I want him found. I want him... Found. <laughs> the sarcophagus could be exploited, causing who knows what catastrophe to this city if it were to fall into the wrong hands. When you say you want him found, I'm assuming me. The Nosferatu lurk in the filth below the streets of Hollywood, but not even I know just where they hide. Hollywood is unfortunately lacking in any Camarilla loyalties. Hollywood's Baron is an anarch named Isaac. Isaac's more civil than the Anarchs downtown, but nonetheless, he wears his mistrust of me on his sleeve. He may know how to contact the Nosferatu. Find Gary and get him to talk. That sarcophagus could be used against us. Do not come back until you have it. Now, I must announce the blood hunt and bear the brunt of all consequences. Escort him out. Uh, escort me out? What? Fine, what a jerk. Oh, it's time to go to Hollywood. You guys ready? I'm ready to go. Maybe see some movie sets, a movie star. Maybe get a snack on a movie star. That would be pretty good. 
I don't mind that at all. What up, bro? Going somewhere. Yes, sir. Driving. I'll tell you when we're there. Hollywood. Let's get going. Ain't seen you here before. And if I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac. So that's your next stop. All right, and who might you be? Isaac's in the jewelry store. Oh, where might that street. be? Consider yourself invited. Um, what if I don't want to see Isaac? <laughs> you do. Uh, you gonna make me? <laughs> Waste of effort. All right, fine. You want to be a jerk about it? Metalhead Industries. All right, what do we have over here? We got the lucky star too in here. That means we got another quest to do. But where's the the jewelry store? Hmm. Well, we'll just go in one direction and look to see if we actually see a jewelry store. We got the lucky star that we're we're, we're making a trip there. Our buddy needs to have. We need to have a talking to for our buddy over there. There's the Asian theater, and that is the print store. And... Yep, there you go. Oh, do I have to go around the back? You won't really make me go in the back of the jail. All right. What's up? All right, Isaac. You want to have a conversation? We'll have a conversation. If you can get me in. There we go. What's up? Good evening, neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Not really. You tell me your goons directed me here. Very courteous of you to stop by. All kindred that enter my domain are expected to introduce themselves. It may seem like an outdated formality, but it serves its purpose. Your domain? Uh, no, I'm not gonna call shit about that. And what purpose is that? It gives me the opportunity to personally welcome visitors to my domain. It also helps to establish an understanding in advance, so that there are no unfortunate accidents while they are in town. Oh, really? And what sort of understandings are gonna be between us? Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Great. What? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. See where I'm going I suppose so. You want me to make the pickup? Or it's a setup and you're sending me instead. Speaking of paranoia, no. Simple pickups, all that's involved. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Don't think so. I'll do it. I got some questions, though. There'll be plenty of time for questions later. I'll explain everything when you get back. Fine. There better be. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks. Don't be a jerk about it. Token of respect and stuff. I guess I can understand why he says that, but... Sigh... All right. So we gotta go look for that internet cafe. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what, never mind. We have to help you. Um, I'm fine. Is it drugs, something like that? Look. Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. Who the hell are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? 
Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is they know that you're alive. I think you made a mistake. I just moved here. I don't know you. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Uh. Hmm. Listen, Leigh, I don't know who you are. Is this some kind of scam? But your face, you look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I can't believe it. Uh. <laughs> I'm his identical twin. I'm gonna go with it. We're going with it. Identical twin. It is you. Shit. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But. Uh-huh, I probably should have just... I'm leaving. I don't know, I probably done something, screwed something up pretty bad. Everyone in the comments is going to be in an uproar. That's what I'm going to put uh, money on right there. The Sin Bin. The pawn Shop. A bar. Where's the cafe? Hard luck pawn shop. That looks like some type of mausoleum or cemetery thing. It's another bar. What the hell is the friggin'? Um. Ground zero. Is there a ground zero over here? I didn't even see. No. Oh, so it's back this way. Let's try down here. What the heck? Ah, masquerade violation. Oh no, you dumb bitch. It's gonna be okay. Go away. What do we got over here? You know, I think I made a good chunk of the way into the game without my first, uh, masquerade, or with my first masquerade violation. Alright, I don't know where the hell I am. We gotta, you know what? Move! Before I shoot you or something. Move! No, go away, leave me alone. Oh, crap. What the hell? Yeah, gunshots and babies crying. This chick needs to leave me the hell alone. It's gonna be no, it's not. It's not because I'm gonna put a bullet in your head. Mm. Here you go, ground zero. Okay, Jesus, man. Jesus, this is getting pretty crazy. All right, directory Jos Joseph K. Email. L A E F. Nope, not happening. Aw, oh, poor. Oh, Counter Strike references, baby. Good shit. You cutie, you. There's some video games in there. Noob camper. <laughs> Alright. Email. Okay. I what it was. KFKA, aha. Uh -huh. Um, my bad. <laughs> Alright. No subject. Me in the alley behind Fastbuck. Okay, next. 
I'll holster that weapon away. We're gonna come back in and read some other people's emails at another time. Now, Fastbuck was down this way, and this bitch is following me again. I'm gonna slap her. Alright. Good, good, good. Now, is that Fastbuck? I think this is Fastbuck. Alright, now, is this Fastbuck? No, yeah, there it is. Okay, buddy, let's talk. Yeah? What do you want? Hey, the guy with the tape, Isaac Semi. Yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. Um, relax, you can trust me. What the hell is going on here? All right. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. What is it? I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. This thing, it's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Don't be such a coward. It's only tape. How bad could it be? Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl. The things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Pull it together, you're losing Every it. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end, and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. What's that smell? Did you, did you crap your pants? Hand it over. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. Where? Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? That was what? Oh, shit. Did you see that? See what? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um... What the... Oh, Christ! Ah, <gasps> oh. <sighs> Now what? Great, Ginger Swans. Well... I want to go talk to Isaac and let him know what the hell is going on because it's a little frustrating. Hey Isaac, you better know what the hell was going on here. You made good time. Hand me the item. Ah, <sighs> he didn't have it. Did he at least make a good excuse? He muttered something about Ginger Swan. Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. So where do I go find her? That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. Twenty years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. Great, dead actress. This is a pain in the ass. You said it was going to be easy. I did, didn't I? Let me know when you find the item, Neonate. Mm. Excuse me. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna end this episode right here. So be on the lookout for the next episode where I might go and pop that guy in the jaw for being a jerk. Or maybe I'll just go and find the tape. I don't know exactly where we're going with this just yet. But anyway, peace, love, and all that. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Adios.